Joe, thanks for sitting down with me. Pleasure to be here. In the past year, how has your dialogue or collective media's dialogue changed with marketers? When we got in the business, we thought brand advertisers weren't being properly served um, in the ad network landscape. And the reason being is brand advertisers primarily bought sites specifically. Among brand advertisers, their thinking is changing that, wow, I can diversify my media plan and start buying audiences in combination with sites. So how are we addressing those needs through the collective product suite, whether it's our ad network specifically, collective network for display or collective video for video or through our AMP platform. The online landscape is very confusing. There are networks, there's exchanges, there's demand side platforms, real-time bidding, lots of players, very fragmented. Let's say we're looking five years out. Who's still standing? I think who's left standing it's we're all going to be kind of left standing that provide the technology and services that advertisers need. We're all trying to, again, meet the needs of advertisers or even whether or not it's a publisher trying to bring that audience-centric solution to, to the advertiser to make their media as relevant and as efficient. We're all going to need to kind of be well-armed with the technology and expertise to do that well. So I think a number of us will provide that value the classic agency model has come in, under fire in recent years. Um, many of them are now uh, fashioning DSPs, as we discussed earlier, um, as a way to sort of maintain their role at the table. Do you have any views on that? I think the trick for them will be, okay, I have a relationship with you today, um, advertiser, where I'm charging for a set of services to plan and buy, how does this third party entity that might be part of that holding company play it in a role from a, from a pricing standpoint? But I definitely think they'll figure that out and they'll bring that capability, whether they build that technology in the house or whether they look to third party providers that have already built that capability through their own brands and, and leverage that internally to provide greater value to their clients. Joe, why did you decide to sponsor the Networks and Exchanges Marketplace today? Listen, we have a long-standing relationship with the IAB. You've got everybody that we're doing business with, agencies, advertisers, obviously publishers. We're doing business with other technology providers. We're doing business with data providers. The IAB does a great job assembling all those people in, 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 a, in a room, in a conference, but really in an ongoing dialogue, no matter, no matter how that's happening. And, and we need to be at the center of that. And uh, the IAB is a, a great place to uh, get ourselves in the middle of all that. <laughs>